Hello, I'm Laura. I'm 26 years old and I've been blind from birth. I'm gonna talk about touching Veronica Gosling's sculptures. I've always loved touching sculptures, whether it be wooden or um, clay modeling, or in the case of Veronica, different materials such as fiberglass or resin. In museums, at least most of them, you cannot touch anything. Uh, most artworks are paintings or uh, ph photography or um, sculptures, but even sculptures, yeah, you're not allowed to, to touch them. It is quite difficult and limited for blind people to enjoy artwork since it's been essentially created by sighted people and can mostly be enjoyed by sighted people. The sculptures that mostly interested me in uh, Veronica's work is a woman who sat on a chair reading. It's, it was very impressive for me because it was the first time I touched sculptures in those materials. The other sculptures I like were cats. It was uh, really nice to touch. The indoors sculptures were also nice. I never could think people could make sculptures out of gardening tools. The family who's sitting around the table saying their thank you prayer for before eating is really nice and that uh, yeah that touched me to see that people can make artwork with such simple tools. I really enjoyed discovering the sculptures she's made about a woman who's sat on a boat rowing and she's got a bird on her shoulder. I found it very touching because I love birds and uh, I could imagine myself on a river with birds all around uh, singing. Well, the story of that sculpture is I went to a sail mm -hmm. and I bought a boat oh. and I put it on the back of a little pickup. We had a mini pickup and I didn't tie it very securely so it oh. fell off. Oh. Oh. So I put it back on to the pickup and brought it back and I put it in a pond we had and it would slowly sink. And the pond wasn't very deep, so friends would get into it and slowly sink, and I would laugh. But it, was, it wasn't very friendly. So in the end, I decided to use it for a sculpture instead of sinking all my friends in our pond. Oh. And um, so, but it was made of wood. But I, so it was made of wood, and I made the woman, and the heron, which is now sitting oh, on her shoulder, yeah. was sitting at the back of the boat. But the boat disintegrated. Um, but the woman and the heron survived because they've got fiberglass on them, oh. which doesn't. So I readjusted it, and my blacksmith friend, and you were touching one of his sculptures, mm -hmm. his metal sculpture, my blacksmith friend made me the stand to put it on, and I put the rope round it to suggest mm. the boat. Oh, okay. So the rope is a sort of boat shape. But, but that's how it happened, that's mm. how, that's the story of, the, of that boat. So it just, events really come into my life and mm. I respond, put it that way. I like birds a lot and they're like an alter ego for me. So instead of using yourself, you use a material that you find. And because you like it, it is a bit of yourself, it's a bit of your interest. So in a way you stretch your mind into the object or into sound or into paint or drawing. 